Okay, this is lesson 13, Google Sites. Again, we're still working on HTML basics. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to create links on our website. <clears throat> so what I'd like for you to do is I'd like for you to find your index file that you've already started on. And we're going to add a line of code to our index file. We're going to add this line right here. So let's go ahead and talk about... Um, what this code does. Uh, we've talked about tags. Uh, we've talked about the elements within the tag. Here we have an A, which stands for anchor tag. Uh, along with our anchor tag, we have an attribute, which is hyperlink reference. In other words, this is telling the anchor tag that we, we're creating a hyperlink here. Um, and the reference that we want to go to is right here in quotes. It has to be in quotes. We want a link to a web page called hobbies.htm. Okay, uh, we close the uh, anchor tag here with the right bracket. Now here we type in the text that we want underlined in our website. In other words, we, this is the text that um, a user can see, a user can click on to take us to the hobbies htm page. Once we've keyed in the text that we want underlined, that's going to be our clickable, clickable link. We go ahead and close our anchor tag with the forward slash and the A. <clears throat> so you want to go ahead and get this keyed into your um, index file. Again, once you get it keyed in, you've got to save it. You have to go back, click Save As. You've got to add the .htm at the end. Now here you're going to get the, the message uh, index htm already exists. Do you want to replace it? Yes, we do because we've made some changes to the htm page. Uh, so we do want to save those changes. Now before we go and test it out, we now have to open up our template uh, that we've created. We're going to click on File, Save As, and we're going to call this one Hobbies. Now we have to be careful. Uh, in my code, I capitalize the H on hobbies. So here I've, I must capitalize the H for my hobbies page. Otherwise, it's not going to, uh, to recognize it. It's not going to be able to locate it. Uh, this is one of those instances where syntax or the way you write your code has to match. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Save there. Now that I've got my, my uh, hobby file created, I want to go ahead and key in the information for my hobbies page. Okay, so let's go kind of walk through this. It's nothing new. Uh, we want to make sure that we give our page a title. So we're going to type in hobbies. In our body, we're going to center our text. We're going to start with a heading uh, that says uh, my favorite hobbies. We've got to close the heading. We've got to close or stop the centering. And we're going to add a paragraph tag. I'm going to separate this to make it a little bit easier to read. Uh, I've got my paragraph tag and I just have a simple sentence. My favorite hobbies are astronomy, reading, and listening to music. I'm going to go ahead and whoops, I've got to close my paragraph tag. Uh, close my body, close my HTML. Again, I'm going to click on File, uh, Save As. Uh, type in Hobby. Yes. And I'm going to go Save As. Again, I'm going to add the .htm. Okay, so now I can come over here to my file. I can click on my new index. I've got my link right here that says to click here for a list of my favorite hobbies. I'm going to click on that. It should take me to my favorite hobbies or my hobbies page where I have my heading, my favorite hobbies. And my favorite hobbies are astronomy, reading, and listening to music. Now, because uh, one thing I want to say here. Because our hobbies HTML folder is in the same folder as our index, this is referred to as a relative link. 
meaning that we're linking to something that's uh, contained within our HTML folder. Uh, when you finish this, you want to go ahead and raise your hand, let your instructor see that you've successfully created the page. Uh, once you've done that, we'll look on, we'll move on and look at absolute links.